Welcome to day 10. In day 10, we are going to do everything inside of Active Campaign except write our actual emails. Today's more about the automations, the systems and processes, You're creating your list, your tags, making sure everything's connected properly. We're going to hook things from Active Campaign to Zapier to Kajabi to make sure they, that when somebody signs up to become a member, it actually works and everything goes through smoothly. And then we'll come back in a different day and actually write the copy for the emails. Uh, what I wanted to do in this welcome lesson is discuss what to do if you already have an email list, like on MailChimp or AWeber or some other software, ConvertKit, whatever it is. If you already have an email list that you're using to sell things on your TPT store, my advice would be leave all that stuff exactly the way it is for now. You do not have to use, uh, and obviously at some point you're not going to want to pay for both. You can, but there's there's no need to. All of the stuff that you are doing with your funnels to send traffic to your TPT store, if you are doing so through an email list, you can move all of that stuff over to Active Campaign very easily. My advice would be wait till you get good with Active Campaign and just keep both of them for now because you're you're not paying very much for Active Campaign at the moment, anyways. But you're gonna want to have that email list, your TPT email list on the same software as what you have your membership because those same people are going to be the people that join your membership. And you can make automations that will target them to purchase products like for say say for example during a TPT store and you can also send them emails and automations and funnels for your membership. I again, it's hard to accept this, but at some point, you're probably not going to continue selling things on TPT. You can always leave it up and running. Like you can have stuff there forever, but you're playing in somebody else's backyard when you're using TPT. And the whole reason that you should, the reason you should be doing this, the correct reason to do this, to set up a membership for your teachers, is because you can provide a better service and a better software and better delivery and better communication and just an overall better experience for your customers here than you can on TPT. TPT is extremely limited on what they allow you to do and how, how you're allowed to communicate with the people that purchase your products. Now, uh, either way, you can, you can sell stuff on Teachers Pay Teachers forever, but if you're truly trying to build an education brand, something massive and, you know, do the things that we're discussing here and the things that we've shown you that can be done, you're going to want to move all of your stuff over to your own business. Okay. And that's, that's a tough pill to swallow right now. And it's probably extremely hard to see and what, it, what, like trying to imagine what your, teacher seller business would look like if you weren't using teachers pay teachers. Okay. And I'm not saying you have to do that or you should do that. I'm telling you what my experience is and what I chose to do and how it worked out for me. So if you have any questions in regard to that, or like you need that nudge to get into the right headspace to be able to, to, really start spending more time on this, your business, your membership, as opposed to TPT, then it might be time to join us inside the Millionaire Teacher Club because that's the whole purpose of the club is to get you to see that there's there's a better way to deliver your products and services to school districts and teachers than doing it on somebody else's platform. All right. So with that said, let's jump into the intro lesson where I'm going to show you some of my automations and some of the things that we do with inside our businesses so that you can get some ideas once we start setting these things up, starting with lesson one. All right, so let's head into the intro for day 10.